Brown stepping in. He'll get the steal. He'll rise and slam it home with a right hand. The 2010-2011 Navy men's basketball team showed it was a team of skill, a team of leaders, and a team of youthful players that weren't overwhelmed by the task of being Division I basketball players at one of America's most respected institutions. Led by strong leadership from seniors Greg Brown, Mark Vizi, the native Texans Romeo Garcia, and O.J. Awaro, the Mids maintained their place among the Patriot League's contending program. Joining Americans, the two teams in the Patriot League have finished in the top four of the league standings in each of the last four years. Navy shot their way to victories over teams from the Atlantic 10 and CAA, leagues that boasted squads in the Sweet 16 and won into the Final Four and dominated an American squad that finished as the league runner-up in an Alumni Hall battle in late January. The Mids also returned the Alumni Trophy to Annapolis with a convincing star game win over the Black Knights of Army completing its first season sweep since 2003. The Mids showed amazing resolve in November as they spent the first month of the year in Texas, Buffalo, and three games in California. The grueling road schedule where 10 of Navy's first 12 games of the season were spent away from the friendly confines of Alumni Hall prepared the midshipmen well down the stretch. Navy picked up its first win of the season with a 74-62 triumph over Newman in mid-November, forcing a remarkable 35 turnover, the third most for an opponent in school history. It was a sign of things to come for the season as the midshipmen ranked among the nation's top 10 in steals and turnover margin. Following a three-game, three-day trip in California for the 2K Sports Classic benefiting coaches versus cancer, the midshipmen came home red hot in an 89-84 win over Towson Freshman J.J. Avila scored 31 points off the bench, the second most for a freshman in school history, and the Mids got timely buckets and defensive stops down the stretch to preserve the victory. Welcome to Navy then took its talents to the nation's capital for a regionally televised contest against George Washington in the BB&T Classic. He's a better player than what we've seen here so far. Sugar's on the follow off the glass. Good hustle. Jordan Sugars returned from a freak hand injury to score 20 points and lead Navy to a 64-57 victory over the Colonials, a team that finished tied for fourth in the Atlantic 10 Conference. In mid-January, before a sold-out Crystal Arena crowd, the midshipmen showed their resolve in medal. Navy rallied from a 13-point first-half deficit, took a 12-point lead, then made seven of eight free throws down the stretch for a thrilling 85-81 victory in the first meeting against the Black Knights. Jordan Sugars continued his strong play against Army, scoring 25 points on eight of 13 shooting to lead all five starters in double figures. Side next move by Sugars. Avila added 17 points, eight boards, four assists, and two blocks in his first Army-Navy game. The Army victory kick-started Navy's Patriot League season, and the Mids followed up that win with a dominating 72-53 effort over the Patriot League runner-up American. Avila scored 24 points with six three-pointers, and Navy's defense stifled one of the league's most efficient offenses, holding the Eagles to just 36% shooting and a 4 of 22 from beyond the three-point arc. Navy won its third straight game at a place that has not been kind to the midshipmen, hosting an 81-78 decision over Colgate in double overtime in the final game of the league's first go-round. Greg Brown made a spectacular play on an offensive rebound in the second Sugar. overtime. Oh, they collect it. Let's make sure. <laughs> How about I don't know. Do we need a second look at that? Great heads-up play. 
The Mids made all seven of its free throw attempts in the second overtime to overcome a slow start and earning its third straight win. Several Mids had to step up late as key players were saddled with foul problems, and Brown and Jordan Sugars combined for 42 points, while the Navy defense forced 27 Raiders turnovers. Navy turned up the defensive heat in its final three victories, allowing Lafayette, Army, and Colgate to average just 55 points per game in the three contests. In the win over Lafayette, Navy surged to a 36-21 halftime lead, then made 13 of 17 second half free throw attempts to hold off every Leopard charge. Sugar scored 17 points and grabbed nine rebounds, and Navy limited Lafayette to just two of 22 from long range. In returning the alumni trophy back to where it belongs with a thorough 75-58 win over Army at a raucous sold-out alumni hall, the Mids fell behind 12-0 to start the game and outscored the opponent 67-31 over the next 34 minutes to blow out the Black Knights. Sugar scored 20. Mark Vesey came off the bench to score 17 points and grab nine boards in 17 minutes of action. And Romeo Garcia scored a season-high 14 points with five rebounds to spark the Navy attack. The win was Navy's 27th star game victory in the last 31 seasons. And since 1993, Navy is 17-2 in star games. In Navy's final home game of the season, the midshipmen honored their four departing seniors before the game and then dominated Colgate during its 75-55 victory. Navy, behind the four seniors, jumped out to an 18-3 advantage just four minutes into the game and never trailed in sweeping the season series against the Raiders for the first time since the 2000-2001 campaign. Navy's four seniors scored 36 points. Sugars led the mids with 25, and Navy forced 22 turnovers and held Colgate to just four of 16 shooting from three-point range. The senior class will leave Navy by winning the third most Patriot League games among all teams over its four years, and winning 59 games overall, while leaving an undeniable mark on the Navy program in terms of leadership and production. In just three years at Navy, O.J. Awaro ranked eighth on the Navy career assist list and started 88 of the 90 games he played while at Navy. Awaro turned it on in Patriot League play during his career, averaging 9.8 points per game and 5.1 assists per contest in 28 Patriot League games over the last two years. Romeo Garcia leaves as one of Navy's top defensive players in recent memory. The 6'5 Texan had a knack for making big defensive plays, as evidenced by his 46 charges drawn over the last two seasons. Garcia averaged 5.4 points per game, 3.9 rebounds per contest for his career, and started 85 of the 96 games he played while at Navy. Rebels in the building. Mark Vesey ended his career fourth on the career block shots list with 111 and averaged six points per game in 114 career games. His 114 games played are the second most for a Navy center in school history behind the Admiral, David Robinson. Vesey played his best late in his senior year, shooting 58.5% from the field while averaging 9.8 points and 4.5 rebounds in the last six games. Greg Brown blossomed late in his career, ranking third on the team in scoring at 10.1 points per game, was second in three-pointers made with 57, and paced the squad in free throw percentage at 83.6%. Brown played in every game over the last two years, averaging 7.6 points per game, and making 82 three-pointers during that span. The future is also bright for the mids. Jordan Sugars, a junior, shook off an early season hand injury to lead the team in scoring, rebounding, field goals made, and minutes played. Sugars rose to the occasion both times against Navy's rival Army, averaging 22.5 points per game against the Black Knights en route to a second-team All-Patriot League performance. The Winchester, Virginia native led the mids at 16 points a game and surpassed the 1,000 career point mark in the regular season final against Colgate, becoming just the seventh player to score 1,000 points by the end of his junior season. He will be bolstered by rising seniors Ted Connolly and Carlton Smith, who both showed glimpses of play late in the season and will be counted on significantly in the 2011-12 season. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Hunter. The freshman J.J. Avila led the team in steals and offensive rebounds, was second in assists, scoring and rebounding, and third in block shots and three-pointers made, while his 357 points were the third most in school history for a plead. 
He was named the Patriot League Rookie of the Week eight times this year, the fourth most in league history, and earned Navy's second Conference Rookie of the Year honoree, joining just David Robinson as winners of that award. He was one of four freshmen nationally to average 10 points, five boards, and two assists per game. Isaiah Roberts joined Avalon on the Patriot League's All-Rookie Team with his versatility being his greatest gift. A player who can play a number of positions, Roberts showed his prowess on the offensive end in the harshest environment. In game one of a two-game series sweep of Army, Roberts netted 13 points and hit two key three-point field goals as the mid stormed back from an early 13-point deficit. Roberts and Avalo on the all-rookie team gave Navy two all-rookie honorees for just the fifth time in school history. Fellow freshman James Lupos brought defensive intensity and a versatile offensive skill to the starting lineup in the final stages of the season. Brennan Wyatt gave the mids a solid point guard off the bench as he played in all 31 games and ranked third on the team in assist with 47. Third good win appeared in 25 games while Jacob Liebert started Navy's contest against Long Island. Both showed maturity and improvement throughout the year and will be looked on for more production next year and beyond. Navy's six-member freshman class scored 762 points, the most by a freshman class in school history. With another outstanding recruiting class arriving next year and a solid nucleus returning, Navy once again figures to be in the mix in the Patriot League race in the 2011-2012 season, just like the seniors have led them to in each of the last four seasons.